Hi there everybody, Flash Rasman here with another Trasman Tries. Today we're looking at the Ixion, Ixion demo that was available during the Steam Next Fest. So what is Ixion? Ixion is authorised by this Dolos AEC. You will guide the, the Ticon space station toward onwards and the perilous journey to find a new home for humanity. Station, station infrastructure, population management, exploration, survival. These responses fall to you. Will you... Will you find hope there in the dark? Good luck, administrator. So the demo is just the prologue, and the rest of the game is coming out in 2022. So I reckon we should play half an hour, see what it looks like. Not because, again, obviously it's a demo. Things might not work, there might be bugs, etc., etc. I've turned the volume down just so we don't get any, so we don't get any issue with copyright, copyright checks on YouTube. I've not looked at this at all, so we're going, to, we're going in this together. Blind, so to speak. So it looks like it's like a city builder in space, basically. City builder, colony management, colony management in space, by the sounds of it. Wait for it to load up. Press any key to continue. Casada Games presents, because it's been developed by Bulwark Studios and published by Casada. Dolos AEC European Spaceport Norway. July 13th, 2049. Launch control, we have TCON clearance for shuttle launch. Initiate Stanford protocol. Climb procedures check. Boosted go. <coughs> Vectoral go. Guidance go. Nye, uh, Nihai, yeah, uh, Batista safety check protocol. Launch control to EVM show on. All systems are go. Launch is imminent. Personal instructor to evacuate the launch pad. Okay. There's no explanation as to why we're looking for a new home, but you suspect because the planet's dying. But it doesn't say that. I'm just assuming. T minus 30 seconds. Deflectors up. Okay, we can, we can skip this, but I want to see it just kind of for the cinematics. T minus fifteen opening hatches. Nine, eight, seven, six. Initiation. Four, three, two, one. Lift off. And we're off. So the leading sequence is via EMV show and heading for low Earth orbit, transferring data to inner heaven. Okay. Boost to separation. Is that your old school shield launch, isn't it? Seems a bit wasteful, but nice EKP throttle up. Nice graphics, nice cinematics. Do do do. Okay. So there we go. Visual approaching VVS T, T construction. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I do apologise. T Quinn, T Quan. VVS T Quan to EMV Sharon. You have clearance for final approach. Ixion. Hopefully, there's no narrative because I've turned the volume right down. You may show you a scientist T, uh, T, T Quinn, T Quan docking bay. <coughs> We're in. Welcome aboard, passengers. Loading. Okay. We've arrived. The shuttle is now docked. Eden P8 of the T-Corn empowered and pressurized. Sector 1 empowered and pressurized. Sector 1. Moon Chi decommination protocol online. Disembarkation authorized. We can get out. Message crew members, welcome aboard the Tikun, property of Dolos Aerospace Engineering Corporation. You'll soon be given your assignments, but until then, please continue to wait near the docking bay. We hope you have a, a productive voyage, and we'd like to thank you for your contribution towards humanity's future. Okay. <coughs> okay, wait, so skip. Maximize, dismiss text. I administered, I am Eden, the personal assistant installed on board the Tikun. Okay. 
In accordance with the Munchi protocol, I have been designed to take into consideration your complete psychological profile so that I may be accurately responsive to any needs you may have. Okay. Okay, next. My primary purpose is to ensure the Tcon's automated systems function effectively. Okay. Lots of people talking about. I will keep track of these tasks, the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research mining operation, manufacturing protocols and dollar colonization tests. There's lots of people walking around. Oh these are these look like shanty towns, like huts. Next discussion, okay. MHA Minister, I want to introduce you to your first tasks personally. This is my Cryonics expert Giovanni Batista. I am Dallas's Cryonics lead, Marduk council member Giovanni Batista. Mm. Okay, so let's see. Your first objective will be beginning setting up essential infrastructure on board the TCO meeting. Development conditions are required to support your crew. Having laid these foundations, we will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Poxa Center. Upon your arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rocks. Dust, cold dust, fire up the colonized edge protocol and begin building foundation for mankind's future. Yada 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 yada. Then, of course, you'll come back. Okay. <coughs> well, at least you will come back. There's a lot. There's a lot. That went very quickly. Yeah, okay. So, gather, basically, we're, basically, we're going to get a proximal centauri, gather some, gather some samples, get colonized, and come back. In order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the T Quan's core functions. No big deal. These are production, stockpiling, and distribution of resources, construction, balancing of power output with allocation, and oh, space acceleration. You know, sending out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needs to establish scientific advancement and harm harmonious autonomy aboard the Tikkun following the first test of its uh, Vol engine. Because you can't kind of skip. I don't want to skip the task. Eden is going to display. Eden's going to display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, an administrator, let me put positive. Let, 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 don't let the position go to your head. Vane has insisted to centre Dallas's function on the t -corn, but this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. Okay. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the t -corn back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from eco, 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 systemic, systemic destruction to us, okay? One last, one last word of advice. We don't all like uh, Vanier Dolos as of yet. No human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity, uh, an opportunity knocking to me. We don't all think like... Oh, okay. Alright, so... He's got a bright attitude on him. I'm not sure this bloke, and that's a bit kind of anyway. End of discussion. So what we've got here, then we've got hull integrity. It tells us where we are. So we've got nice hull integrity. This is current power consumption. That's trusted administration. Your faith as people in station uh, puts you in command according to uh, the client product predictive modelling, reaching zero percent. You will will result in a mutiny. Trust is a result result of the sector's stability ratings. Trust is a one percent per cycle. General trust fifty two percent. Okay. So I can't actually. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. Well, okay. So we've got view tutorials. Oh, okay. I Ixion <coughs> features three different play views: the interior view, the exterior, view, and the planetary system map. You can switch between views via the navigational panel located at the bottom right corner. Cool. Fair enough. Yeah, simple enough. Camera controls. Yep, standard. WSD, mouse. Yeah, it's fairly standard that is. You can restore. Home key. I will forget that, but you never know. Exterior. Alright, okay. Same again. Pretty, they're pretty, they seem to be pretty standard, really. Planetary system. Yeah. They're all pretty standard. Nothing, there's nothing, nothing there that particularly bothers me. Builders are core elements of station. They help you fulfill the station's population needs. They also transform, store, and move resources required for maintaining the Tikkun station. Buildings have to be constructed. Require resources. Urbans have a cost varying from alloy, uh, amount, varying amount of alloy, and some also cost electronics. Newly construct buildings require power to be activated. Okay, so uh, we will look at that a minute ago. So yeah, obviously they need you need materials to build them. You need power to, power to make them work, to activate them, and work to actually work in them. 
Active, activating a building that would increase the required number of workers within a sector. Having enough workers to prepare, operate all the buildings, uh, buildings essential to maintain the station safely. So basically, don't build too many buildings. Well, yeah, so don't kind of stretch your resources thin, really. Kind of. Oh, okay. Buildings can be placed on a grid of this of a sector when they are not overlapping with an existing structural road. Builders can rotate using the R key or with the mouse wheel. Buildings must be connected to a road. This is made possible by having at least one of the entries overlapping a road tile. They can be dismantled. Will be formed itself. Okay, so you can knock some it down and get all your stuff back. Fair enough. And so from the build construction menu or by pressing C. Okay, assembly. When your buildings have been placed, the construction process begin stockpiling stockpiles will begin will send resource transport resource transports to deliver the correct amount of alloy and electronics to the to the construction site. Then then any active workshop will send a mech to build okay. The bigger the building like okay the bigger it is the longer it takes. Oh, that's fairly standard isn't it really? Mechs these are linked to construction uh, mech workshops need to be linked to construction sites for the worker mechs to be able to reach them. Stockpiles need to be linked to construction sites and buildings need that need resources for transport. So basically, you've got to link everything together, really. Cool. So well, that's first sound sectors. I miss I didn't miss anything on that building, much, did I? Nope. Fairly standard. I always like a good tutorial. I say, if you ever watch my channel, you'll know I always like a good tutorial. Even though you only have one sector available at, at the beginning, the Tcon station is divided into six sectors. Sectors are the constructible areas of the station. Each sector is independent and separated up by a gateway. They can be accessed by panning the camera left or right, or directly, or by directly clicking on the corresponding minimap located in the bottom left-hand corner. The top bar uh, displays the stored resources of the current sector below their global available quantity. I like that. So that's current sector. That's what we've got overall. Hang on. The top bar is for the current sector and their global availability quite below that right. Say so. Right, right, so we've got this set's got 82 of 187, they've got 25 of 64. Cool. Sector each sector has a dedicated panel displaying information unique to that sector. Available water park, such population work conditions. Dangerous. New sectors can be unlocked by spending copious amounts of resources to force entry. Okay, then. Do -do. Each sector has a constructible area of 160, 1,680 tiles, 56 by 30. Okay then. Minimap. Minimap is an overview of all sectors in TCOM. Oh, we found this already. It's located at the bottom corner. I think we did. The bottom left corner of the screen on uh, next to the sector view. Oh, okay. Okay, so planetary map, TCOM exterior map. Okay. Fair enough, that's good standard. Fleet management, population management, okay, we'll look at later. Interior view. So notifications. We haven't got any notifications, silly so what we to do now then. Build a workshop. Okay then. So build construction. Build a workshop. Where are we gonna put the workshop, I wonder? Kind of do I get this do we stick it? Let's rotate it. Let's put it down here. Let's put you down here. Let's put you down here and then let's build a road there, 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 and put the road all the way up there. Okay. Okay. Connect the workshop with the road. We're doing that. Build a stockpile. Okay, so we want to build a stockpile. Let's build a stockpile next to the road, shall we? Cool. Okay, so we've got lots of people needing the road, so let's keep that road going that way. And going that way, that way, and then that way. That way. I really should think about this a bit more. Okay, hang on, so... <coughs> we'll see what we've moaning about connections once we get a road. Once we, so let's have a kind of... I didn't want to do that. I want to do that though. Uh, let's build some more roads. So, if I do this road there like this, what's it doing in terms of resources? So, eighty-five people. So, set the stockpile to store alloy. You want to store alloy. Active. 
and go so what I'm going to do so to collect available resources set the stop off to alloy to collect a uh, so what do you want me to do? Hang on a second. To collect the available resource, this building needs to be connected with an active stockpile. Hang on. Uh, where did I put the stockpile? That's the workshop. Okay. That's the stockpile, and you want to store alloy. Okay, right, cool. I've done that. Okay, collect 40 alloys. Okay, then. Let's kind of... Well, while, they, while they're doing that, I'm going to come building roads. I'll get everybody connected. Oh, I really should think, I suppose, uh, this is what's going to come and bite me on the rear end that I'm not really kind of thinking about where I'm putting my roads. Okay, we're going with that. So, I've collected five so far. Okay, come with my roads. So, they need alloys. So, yeah, that's screaming for alloys. Okay, it's fairly well. Sector one. So, basically, it's like a, it's a city building space, basically. 40 alloys let's kind of let's go let's go super quickly just because at the moment we can't do anything to have collected these 40 alloys and then it'll give us the next set of instructions you can zoom right in they just like look like shanty town looks like shacks they do or half built houses and let's, let's connect that over there so we've we're nearly there it's weird because it doesn't it it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like you go in like side to side. It feels like you go on a circuit. It feels weird. Anyway, so basically this is our different sectors. And oh, the oh, 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 we're going to go back to the start. Ooh, they did that, did. So have we got that yet? Let's go a bit quicker. So where's getting the alloys from? Workshop, waiting order. Do, do, do. It's all 30 of 100. Can you make us do, could we make it some more if you don't mind, people? Is it down to the fact I've made I've created too many roads? Is that the problem? Is that the problem? Hmm. <coughs> I've got, I should, maybe I shouldn't have built all these roads. Waiting order worker. Active. Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, hang on, so. This was available for connection. We've done that. Total resources. Okay. Axion features three different play views the interior view, exterior view, the plant review. Interior view is that one. Yeah, we've done that one. So, yeah. Resources. Resources are our components, are the components for nearby, for nearly every craft and taken. User buildings for, uh, use the, used for building, built out to maintenance. Used for spaceships and materials, electronics, food. It's basically lots of different things, basically. That is chronic pods. Okay, so we, we find them built. Okay, and we can, like, later they could be awakened and added to the. Uh, chronic pods contain survivors during the, find during the expedition. Basically, lots of different things. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get back to that and then. Hang on, how do I how do I pick up? You need a road down there. Let's get roads building. Uh, let's get your road down that way. That way. Okay. Join you pair together like that. Wait, the collection. So. Oh, it's ah. So I've got to click it them to collect it. Ah, that makes sense. Let's get them to collect the lot. So I'm assuming these are buildings that have been taken apart. We didn't. We, we'll need some more storage, I think. So let's get another stockpile. Let's get another stockpile, kind of uh, rotate it. Let's get another stockpile behind it, actually. And I'll put a road to get there. Okay, cool. Well, let's get off the, off the road bit. Okay. Okay, collect all these resources. So we've got 
bucket loads of resources. These must be buildings that have been taken apart, I reckon. Uh, stored. There it is, food. I do remember that. So, what do you want me to do now then, I wonder? We've done that, so. They can't. Uh, Mr. Dollars has made it abundantly clear when it comes to security, given the importance of the Tikkun, you must have, we must have full control of what is happening inside the station. My name is Emma Klein, Dollars is lead data scientist and member of the Marduk Council. My department has just completed final synchronisation between Eden and other data to, uh, and our data treatment tool, the DLS. The DLS or data listening system is capable of scanning recordings and passing exchanges of any kind. The DLS programming is it, that is part of Eden will filter data collected and bring to your attention the most relevant information. Oh, blimey, that's a bit big bother, isn't it? So basically, anybody that talks will find out about it. It will also provide you with a condensed overview of any situations that may arise and formulate uh, potential future outcomes. It will permit you to direct, give direct orders without having to go through additional unnecessary paperwork. Eden will take care of any anything via their, D, their DSL accreditation. Okay then. As is often the case with tools produced by my department, I think you may, uh, you'll may, you find once you start using DSL, you'll never be able to go without it. And before I go ahead and start writing start writing history, Dr. Munshi, our lead medical expert, wanted me to bring to your attention a possible side effect of the vol jumping. While there is correlation between the prolonged space travel and the development of uh, onset dementia, he believes that a vol jump has the potential to accelerate this process, although it is yet to be proven. His recommendation is for you to immediately send any crew members out exhibit, exhibiting, exhibiting uncharacteristic or systematic behaviour to an infirmary as these facilities are equipped with to treat the mind as well as the body. Okay then. Okay. Uh, remember that uh, all, that, that all, all of your actions and choices are being recorded by either you are not affiliated with any national or ever international organisation. The only people that you are answerable to, to are those of us that sit on the Marduk Council and who represent the collective interests and ambitions of the company. End of discussion. Okay then. Let's get you saving alloys again. Okay. Right, so uh, resolve the event. Uh, communal sector six is active. Okay, so what do you want me to do? So resolve the event. Communal dining stockpile small. What do you want me to do? Do I factory it prepares for 10 food 100 crew communal dining area there is in a building hopefully that'll answer that so we've got docking bay housing crew quarters up to 50 how many crew have we got we've got 85 crew where they're living and Mr. T can uh, crew members currently have no means of collecting food supplies from storage. Analyze uh, leading to an impending influx of hunger crew. The subsequent action rates are predicted by to rise by 64%. Naya Khan's social ecosystem theory suggests that factories can be used to both ration and distribute food provisions to a stellar habitation setting. A commitment to provide food for the crew would reaffirm their position. Okay. Uh, okay. I've got way out of your air game. Build a refectory. Okay, so we've got two storage. People trust me, which is marvellous. So we'll kind of wait for that to happen. What else have we got? Fleet management. We don't have a fleet. I'm not going to build anything ahead of going to do the tutorial who tells me because I've got, I, I deeply suspect it's going to tell me at some point we're going to build something. So we've got cook consumption. So we've got. If I've got this right, power consumption, so we're consuming 20 of 60, 20 of, 22 of 60 energy things. Set stockpile to store, set stockpile to store food. So when we need uh, instruction, stockpile, I'm going to put my stockpiles over here, I think. Can I get them all at the same place? Okay, that's going to get rid of you. You've got, you're going to get back fairly quickly. Ah, so let's say you, do you click on it and prioritise the construction. So what are you over there? Supply medium. Okay. Ah, so that makes it. Ah, so the supply supplies whatever you tell it, whatever it is. Okay, and then my right, got it. So this is a supply medium, and that's supplying food. So you can see if we look at construction food. So that is a refectory. 
workshop okay factories it's a tech lab okay interesting interesting okay and I, I want to know where he's living myself personally but so like uh, you collect food feed 200 crew within the within the factory okay incoming transmission EA and risk to have an incoming transmission from the Marduk council member Henry Bargeville okay that's nice for him put him through then next discussion bonjour administrator philosopher doctor what a wonderful day to embrace our fate don't you think i'm henry bargeville writer philosopher lobbyist but most of all member of the i want to know who this Marduk council is who are they i've taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the the ushanabi a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies the Ashtangites, Ashtangites. Even though they are a small organisation, the Ashtangites are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual look as we do. Okay. Event available. The Ushanabi will provide us with source of food whilst carrying out the Tikun's international testing by by making it first exclusive trade partner of the of the Tikun, the Tikun, we will demonstrate demonstrate to our long term allies that Dolos wishes to share in that success. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can we can check the whole we can check the trade routines. Administer administrate trust in genetic conatus self similar space will reveal the pattern. Okay then. Space exploration event available. Some crew members have no courts to live in. Commit to building, okay. Right, so right, so let's kind of Let's kind of pause a second. I always like to pause. Let's get let's build some houses. So we want we need to construct right, so first of all structure. So construct a cargo ship. Is it cargo ship? So we're building them. Okay, then I'm going to then to go to housing. This got this fifteen crew. So we've got to be mass. That's a uh, fifteen thirty sixty. 75 620 so if i do nice no, if i do 15 30 45 60 75 90 so if i build six that'll cover the crew we've got so far let's kind of build you there that there, there there and there and let's get a row to go Okay, and that's not a very good road. Uh, okay, and then I want to delete you. Okay, let's unpause. Okay, you can feed. I might do, I might build another one of them. I think. Food refectory. If I rotate it around, okay. So that's doing that. So they should be done quite quickly. I need. Oh, I need more, don't I? I didn't build enough of them. More houses. I'm gonna do what I need to do. So we're providing, we're nearly done that, exploration, okay. Let's just hit your pause on you a second. Uh, hang on. Let's be tutorial then. Resources below like that, space interaction. Interactions on the planetary system map are mainly via your science ship. You can send ships to planets by clicking towards points of interest on the map. Once on site, clicking the event icon will enable you to instruct the team on how to proceed. Ushanabi. Science ship collects science points. Losing a ship team member will make resolution of events slower. To replenish 
your ships have to return to the okay fair, fair enough so that is general information compendium i do like this i do like this it's very easy to get to so we've nearly kind of uh well that we're done soon so we'll tick that box i need one to put one more down okay Blimey, oh, blimey. Didn't get me mad. I got me mad wrong, didn't I? Well, I didn't get mad in this building, did I? Okay. No, oh, okay. So we fit. Fine. That'll be done soon. The resource to collect from. I'm assuming these are building sites of some kind. Okay. You're collecting. You've been set to collect food. How are they getting on? Okay. You. What do you require? you need this which is polymer so we need to make polymer okay so we need to make construction i need a workshop and i need you to create polymer that's what i'm going to do actually i'm going to get rid of you get rid of you construction we need construction to make polymer workshops keep the workshops together let's rotate you there Kind of put you kind of there. I'll get the road to extend out. To try and keep them all together, I reckon. And then we're going to need a. We're also going to need a stockpile for said polymer. Yeah, this is this is a proper city building type thing. This is. Well, let's get this right. So you're going to need to. You're going to need to make polymer. One crew died of starvation. That's a bit of a blow. How dare they? Uh, active, waiting on orders. So what? How do you, so? How do you make polymer? Six crew died of starvation. Why? Why well, I don't understand why they died of starvation. How do I make polymer then? Uh, and what am I missing here? Sector one. I don't understand why people are dying of starvation on me because they're linked to a road, aren't they? Uh, they produce. They produce. So I didn't want to do that. I want you to produce. You stockpile polymer. Yes, we've got you there. So get that and get that. How many people do I lose there because of my own stupidity? Oh dear me. Uh, yeah, we've just lost a lot of people through starvation. Oh dear. Resources, yep. Oh yeah. That's the resources. Workplace safety. Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay. I've just butchered off my crew. Don't worry about that. Okay. Oh. Notifications. Yes, we've just lost of stuff. We've just lost of people, dead crew members to starvation. Oh dear. Oh, right, okay. Okay. So that's going to start doing that. Yeah, uh, I, made, I made a mess of that, didn't I, really? I made a complete dog's dinner, haven't I? How many people got left now? 15 people. Oh dear. That was a blow. Um, harvesting. Uh, okay, harvesting. They see, see, yep, fine. You need a fleet, your fleet capacity, cargo ships, transport, minor ships, your fleet semi autonomous. But I need all, my, okay. Uh, okay. Yep, I know, I know, we've run a lot of people quickly. So we request additional staff. Okay. 20 workers are sent, I've laughed on both, thank goodness for that. <laughs> yes, we need them. Okay, two quite a start of why this food there now. Okay, so okay, so so as quickly as we can build them. Why this food here? Is this fact that we're just not getting built quickly enough? I wonder. Or we just haven't got enough uh, resolve moon event. Configure cargo ship to retrieve food from the fleet management window. So, uh, docking platform. So you are my cargo ship. Configure cargo ship. 
is that for completed yet then or what one one of one crew so let me just read that again shall we while I'm generally killing people space exploration exploration oh I say well, okay so I have to go in let's okay so we have to go look like do 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 Go Joe, you could have got right, okay, so cargo ship. So if I go back into here and uh um, okay, I'm struggling to work out what I do here. Space interaction, so harvesting. Your fleet is it semi autonomous? Hang on, let's go on the fleet window. So let's just go science ship. Okay, waiting for a science ship. Uh, let's just slow down a second because I'm not sure I'm doing something, what I'm doing wrong here. So Space interaction. Uh, science ship clicks science points. Exploration. So, do do do. Once on site, click the event. Okay. You send your shots by clicking on the point of interest on the map. For science ship. So. Uh, right, you're on the moon. So you. Okay. So. You're doing that. Okay. Ships arrived on the moon. Okay. Some intelligence collected from the abandoned base camp. The base camp is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational. May have you, you uh, may be used to restore power. There's advantage average probability to find the resources. We have reached the UN base, provide credit, abandoned depressurized. Daughters explore. Okay, let me just slow right down. So what I've got to do now is so I go back into my planetary view. My fleet manager. So I want you to get food. Resolve the moon events. So if I now go back up here, okay. So is the only way to collect food or what? Science ship. Uh, main priority. So is he going to do that or what? But he doesn't, and this I'm stalling a little bit. So, why aren't you going to click that? So, I go into if I go to here, all right? So, docking platform, resource to collect, to mine. So, why is he not going out there? Science ship, so can you go over one? Maximum priority. Okay, let's just kind of see if it does actually go and collect that thing. Because there we go, it's way back there. Okay. I've got it now. Science ship is completed. Science ship is completed. So look at that. So it's completed its. Uh, so go back on the moon event. Okay. Uh, so we have intelligence collected from the abandoned base camp. The base is out of commission. Auxiliary systems are operational and may be used to restore power. There's an average probability of finding resources. React as main computer systems as you would, and I found several uh, relevant research papers and data sets. Resume and dismantle the camp. Okay. Okay, dismantle is in progress. Excellent. Let's dive back into base. Okay. Alright, so. No more people have died, thankfully. Alloys are getting quite full up. Okay, so we feed one more person. Okay. Uh, got to feed 10 crew. Tell you what I might do, is I might, I'm tempted to build a stockpile right next to it. Let's go take the stockpile right next to him. And then get everything out. There. Just have it right next to them, basically. Cool, that's docked. They're stored in there. I didn't want to. Okay, that's in, 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 in 
that's been built like now okay uh, yeah minor minor population problem nothing to fear nothing to see here move along everybody it's full of full of alloy which is fine let's kind of speed us up a little bit after I butchered 60 odd people oh well let's slow down to that let's go back out there to there uh, yep so yep and cool I have incoming transmission from Dallas head of medicine dr. Anvar Munchi okay very good in discussion Greetings Administrator, I'm Dr. Anbaf of Munchi, Dallas expert in carpentment, yeah that word there, and medicine and a member of the Mordic Council. I'm glad to meet you even in this digital manner. Your psychological tests were quite impressive. My friend and colleague Philip Stanford could not be here today, so I'll take all of you to the final stage of the vol engine integration. Okay, before we get into how that, however, we'd like you to complete testing of the station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. Uh, then you'll be able to begin researching the EVR lock and access its compatibility with Torquin's core systems. T Quins. Hope that that works out. That I hope that the work I team will ensure that you are equipped to deal with the most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford, would you like me to remind you that space is far less fanciful and forgiving environment that science fiction would have us believe? So as you remember that. Very good. End discussion. Constructive vol. Uh, technology upgrade, so we need tech lab. Yeah, fine, tech lab. So we need to build a tech lab. So let's go on here then. Let's build a tech lab. It's a good blast. It's massive. Put you there. And you can collect food. Okay. Okay. Okay, out to here. You've got nothing to collect there. Science ship. You head out to there. Okay. Fascinating this is. I wonder if you can save games. So if I hit there. You can't see, see that or nothing. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to leave it just here. I'm going to go. Thanks very much for watching that. We've paid for about four. I think we've got a good idea of what it's about. It's a fantastic little game. Apart from I killed sixty odd people, but we'll just think, we'll gloss over that, shall we? I thoroughly you enjoyed this. Anyway, going uh, like I say, I've got the demos available till the end of February. So, and they might they might keep it a longer. But anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I shall see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye.